This is the why me and Lynn don't do shit for people video. Oh, drop the S-bomb, oh well. All right, me and my buddy Lynn, one of the few people that have the luxury of knowing me as a child. Okay, wait, so I'ma just say, I know some people are sitting there like, why does she have on a hoodie, what the fuck is this? Yeah, there we go with the F word. Yeah, I, don't, I just got out the shower, I don't have anything on underneath this, so yeah. This is my Unabomber video too. Okay, so me and my buddy Lynn, last year, we were gonna throw a party for her friend Mona. I know Mona, we ain't like that like that, but we all right. So she's like, you know, you had a karaoke party before you, you know, you had know how this whole thing go. Her birth, Mona's birthday is around Halloween. So me and Lynn, we decided we were gonna have a uh, Halloween slash birthday party for Mona. Okay. So we invite a bunch of niggas that know Mona. That's not a problem. Everything's moving along hunky dory, hunky dory, hunky dory. We started this idea at the beginning of October. Now see, me and Lynn, we have good ideas. It's just we know a bunch of hood rats with no follow through or no funds. So the time comes, everything's set up, all right? I, I rented the room with, you know, my situations because I have the most, at the time, I had the most legitimate papers. As we say, okay, I don't need to delve any further into that. So I put the room under my name. We rent the joint, everything's okay. Then, Lynn calls me day before, or maybe two days before, the actual party is supposed to go down. And she goes, Kai, I just got hit up by a bunch of people. They don't have the money to pay their way in. We're gonna have to cancel this stuff right away ASAP, ham lap. So I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. Maybe something could go on. Maybe some regular people could pull through. No, it just turned into a whole situation. It turned into a whole situation. So I call this woman, and I'm like, yeah, I got to cancel. And she goes, when? And I'm like, right now, like, you know, right now, cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. And she goes, you know, you're supposed to cancel, like, a week in advance. And I'm like, well, I don't know. And she's like, well, we're going to have to charge you half of what we would have made the night that you reserved it. And I'm like, you know what? Okay, fine. Fine, whatever, fuck it. I really don't care. I just can't deal with this right now. So, they charged me half of what they would have made, and I'm like, okay. You know, I should have bothered everybody for like $5 from their 10 or something after the fact, but I kind of just carried on with it and said from this day forward, I will never, ever throw a party that involves hood rats ever again. I will only mess with adults or homosexuals because homos have money. Why? Because they don't have baby daddies, baby mamas, or anything else to deal with. All they got to do is spend their money on being fly, really. And you know what? They like to sing. They fuck with parties. So, you know, after that, I'm like, yeah, man, we're never doing anything like that ever again. So now she's planning her 25th birthday party, and it's going to be a biggie. She plans on importing a bunch of people to Atlanta, which is fine with me because I'm like, okay, I will go to that. I will go there. That will not be a problem. And, you know, there's a couple of people down there already. We're going to meet some people that's down there. So you know what? If any of the hood rats that are up here decide at the last minute they're broke and don't want to come, it won't matter because they won't owe anybody any money and no one really cares if they show up or not anyway because all they're going to do is drink up the extra liquor and eat all the extra food. And I really wasn't thinking about this topic until earlier when I had a conversation with uh, Two Boy 732 one of my subscribers. Thank you for bringing up one of the many reasons why I don't deal with hood rats anymore. Why they don't have any money.